Good morning, Rex. Would you like to go outside? No, really. Do you want to go outside? All right. <laughs> okay, let's go outside. Oh, he did a little anti-cyclonic -cyc spin. Now he's going that way. Must be some nice smells over that way. I'm going this way through the plush lawn, which will be mowed again today. Yeah, you got the, uh, the clovers. They're really good for the lawn, you know. Notice there aren't too many other weeds. Thank you. There's a noisy boat out there. Some stratocumulus clouds. The air is getting from the northwest today. They say west is best. We'll take northwest. What's going on, noisy boat? Where are you going? Doesn't look like the kind of boat that would be noisy. Oh well. Oh, what is that? Looks like the sun's trying to come out. Yes, I do see sunshine reflecting off the buildings in the financial district in Boston. Great news. The sun's coming back after taking a couple of days off. And there's no time off from the weather. Plenty to talk about today. We're between fronts. Uh, the Monday, Tuesday front well to our east. The Thursday front well to our west. That leaves us with sunshine this afternoon and the temperature going back into the mid 70s. So I'm hoping for some passive solar heat today. Warm the house back up from 70 because it's gonna get a lot colder. Cold front coming our way, but not before. A little bit of a warm front comes in tomorrow morning. And with that warm front, there'll be a shower in the morning. And then with a cold front in the afternoon, there's going to be a strong to severe squall line coming right through Eastern Massachusetts, right into my rain gauge tomorrow. Believe it or not, the GFS generates more than an inch of rain tomorrow. Uh, the euro is about four tenths. So it's gonna be one of those, uh, one of those uh, some of us are gonna get quite a bit of rain and maybe some damaging wind tomorrow. What about the last 24 hours? How'd we do? Looks like we have something to report, a point zero two. <laughs> and look at these tomatoes. <laughs> I was uh, pruning off the suckers for quite a while, but then I just said, why bother? And if, this is a, a sucker branch and I can't believe how many tomatoes I have and so far looks like I might get a shot out of them the dill reseeded itself Tim we don't have time to talk about the garden there's too much weather so what's going to happen I guess we should talk about uh, the hurricane forecasts and our weekend weather all at the same time all right so let's go to the euro progs uh, for first let's uh, well I'll tell you that Gaston formed way out there uh, near the Air Azores and that's just going to kind of mill around and the uh, northeast Atlantic for a few days so that's just another spectacle and then you have that invest that we're talking about going into the Caribbean that's likely going to become Hermine the H storm and then we got the F storm we've all been watching it's now a category four storm over the open Atlantic and the progs take that to the west of Bermuda just barely enough to spare the island a direct hit this is the our Thursday map. There's our regular Thursday, Friday front in the northeast here. Look at the size of that high pressure system coming at us. So you have a, a strong high pressure system coming into the central part of North America, a very strong high pressure system in the eastern and northeastern Atlantic. And that leaves Fiona in the middle Saturday morning, striking Nova Scotia. It looks like Cape Breton Island is going to take the brunt of this storm. The heaviest wind is usually on the east side of the storm. And that's what the progs are showing. This is the Euro and that is a serious blow for southeastern Canada into the Gulf of St. Lawrence. It will have wind here in the northeast. So let's go rewind a little bit now back to the wind forecast for New England. Oh, I can see the tower in Winthrop all lit up right now too. In New England, I'm not sure if we're still racing on Hingham Bay, but it's Wednesday, so I'll show the wind forecast for this evening. It's out of the the south, about 10 miles per hour or so, not too much wind today. But then when the warmer air tries to come in tomorrow, we do jump into the mid 70s around here and the wind is gonna pick up. It could be quite windy, even without a thunderstorm, you may have some uh, locally damaging gusts in the order of uh, 30 to 40 miles an hour. And then in any thunderstorms, you probably get a gust to 50 or 60. So quite a windy Wednesday in Eastern New England. I mean, Thursday, tomorrow's Thursday. The autumnal equinox tomorrow, it's late this year. And then on Friday, colder air coming in. You want to see something? All right, the, the NAM on Friday morning. A little bit of blue there in northern New York. Maybe some snowflakes in our mountains, far northern New England, but the air is really dry. So it's mostly just going to be a windy Friday with temperatures only in the 50s. So there's a wind chill factor. The heat's going to come on inside the house Friday. 
And it does gradually warm up over the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, back into the 60s, maybe 70s. So it, it does look like a pretty good Sunday. And then, of course, our regularly scheduled, this is the fourth Friday in a row of these cold high pressure systems. And this is going to be the fourth Monday in a row with rain likely in New England. Now, the Monday map shows Hermine near South Florida. So the guidance is kind of wobbling. Yesterday it was more in the Gulf of Mexico. Now it looks like more of a Florida. This is the Euro. And then that storm may be on the East Coast. This is a scary looking Prague for next Thursday. No, Friday, September 30th. Real long range forecast as the H storm on the East Coast. And so we'll be watching that. It's surely going to be juggling around, moving around. And that's kind of scary. So I'll leave you with something more pleasant as this cloud breaks. After I'm done editing, I'm going to go out front and try and show you the front garden. My mom's have turned into perennials. This whole out the door thing takes me several hours actually each morning. Sorry about that mistake on the frog for next Monday with the storm near Florida. It's next Thursday. Long way to go on that. I'm not sure. I think these are dianthus, but I put them in like around spring and they're still blooming. You get a deadhead them. And uh, the dill, which was here, it receded itself. It's impossible to keep the weeds out of that. And then that's a mayflower right there. It's doing great. I think that's also a variety of dianthus. Yeah, that is the same plant, right? Sorry. And then I put in the marigolds uh, some time ago, like July. There's a mum. This one was huge last year. Uh, flea bane. It's a weed. Oh, and I had the weed, lettuce weed growing over here. I pulled it out. And guess what we have? It reseeded itself. So I am going to have lettuce. Uh, don't remember the name of that one, but it's been blooming all summer. And then these are my perennial mums. I put these in about three or four years ago, and they just keep coming back. Last year, one of them bloomed in the middle of the summer. Uh, so that's going to be beautiful. Look at the size of that one. That's probably one of those $40 ones you get at the store. People throw them away. If you throw your mom away and I see it, it's coming back to my yard. <laughs> uh, the marigold's looking good. And I think this whole basil farm here was about a $3 basil. I think I got out of Trader Joe's in a baggie, you know, wasn't even growing. And actually, this one was growing. And so we've got endless basil here. And we also have endless pruning to do. And of course, the roses, I talk about those a lot. This is the third bloom of the rose. And so the garden can keep on going, but uh, there's gonna be a frost all the way into central New England next week. So it's sad to see the seasons change, but I live near the water. So I'm gonna have more growing season. All right, what a beautiful Wednesday. Oh, I should have shown you. Rex. Rex loves sitting out in the sun and uh, the bees still working on the flowers. Uh.